Hey guys, Major Frenchy. Welcome to another episode. Today we're talking about diodes. What are diodes? Well, diodes are a little bit like a fuse. They're uh, an extra protection that you put on your circuit to prevent the current from coming back to your board. So what we're going to do here on the contactor, we're going to connect the diode to positive and negative. That's what you got to do. So we actually are going to get the wire in here, right? That's going to go to positive and negative. We're going to cut the wire in the middle and then we're going to solder the uh, diode right in the middle. I think that's the best way to do it and uh, we're going to show you how we do this. The diodes that we're uh, going to use, they're 1N4004, 400 volts, 1 amp. This is what we're using. And um, the tools that we're going to use are very simple. Um, little clippers uh, or like pliers. Uh, we're going to use obviously the diode, a wire, gauge, I think it's 18. And um, we're going to use a crimper and the little um, end piece that we're going to insert in the contactor. We'll, uh, I'm going to strip the uh, the wire on both end. Actually, got the two the two wires. And we're going to get the diode. So we're going to apply uh, a little bit of solder on uh, both ends. Uh, we can actually cut to reduce the length as well. We didn't really have to, um, but you can. This is when a, a third hand holder is really handy. Um, I had ordered one and it hadn't arrived yet. This is what it looks like. Uh, really like this. Uh, there are like uh, six holders and the base is kind of heavy so it, it stays in place. Really like this. Alright, so we're getting the, uh, the solder on both ends here. And then we're going to add some solder on the wire. Yeah. <laughs> it, move, it moves all around. Can't wait to receive my uh, my holder. Yeah, let's speed that up a little bit. There's a picture of our diode and uh, you can see the anode is the black side and the cathode is the one with the bar. So the one with the bar, the, the cathode side, is always going on the positive connector of your device. Very important. So now an important step is we're going to put the uh, shrink tube on on top of it, of the wire. And uh, once the other wire is soldered in place, we're going to slide that uh, shrink tube over the diode. Now one important thing, remember which side is a diode, because once it's covered, you won't remember. I had, I found out by uh, <laughs> uh, the hard way. Uh, so we're going to use our little blowtorch to uh, shrink the tube. A lighter would suffice. 
you can uh, just go over and you'll see that it, it seals your wire properly. It does a good job and nothing's exposed. So on both ends of the cable uh, we're going to put an end piece connector. Uh, there are different sizes. Uh, the one we're going to use is the E1508. That's the right size for our contactor. And we're going to insert the end piece, get our crimper, and just crimp them in place. All right, now we need to connect and that's where it's important to have to remember which side is which. Uh, I think it was that time that I didn't remember. So I had to kind of cut a little piece just to see which one was the bar. Um, so but when, once you um, have your like your, your wire marked, put a piece of tape or whatever. And um, we're going to put the uh, cathode side on the positive, uh, which our positive is the top of the contactor. All right, cathode goes at the top on the positive. And uh, when you do this, actually we could have done the wiring at the same time. We could have put in the wire with it. Um, actually, we would have saved a, a step. But uh, when you do so, just ensure that everything is actually tight and that the wire does not come out loose because if it does, you may have some problem with your circuit and then you may actually blow uh, something. It, it happened to us in a previous build where we ended up actually blowing the LED whiz. Um, smoke started coming. So here are the other devices where we're going to install diodes. Uh, our blower fan, that's what's going to create the uh, wind uh, in our table. Uh, we're going to have a full tutorial on that. The uh, knocker, see you can see where the arrow is pointing it's already installed so we have that on our gear motor um, this is what's going to make some noise um, we're going to install one as well same thing right positive negative anode cathode this is our shaker motor uh, we're going to have one on there as well. Now, how will you know if you need a diode? My rule of thumb is, if you think that you might need one, put one in. It will not hurt if you don't need it. Now, as a general rule, we put diodes on anything that has a higher power than like a normal uh, small LED. Anything that has like 12 volt electric current or 24 volts, we will put a diode. And you will know if you don't have one um, and you have some weird symptoms, like for example, your USB device disconnecting, that is the cause. Put a diode, it'll fix the problem. 